what's up guys I'm back here today with a guide slash tutorial no gameplay today I'm gonna to be showing you guys all the new features of the new YouTube uh, creator studio if you have a channel which most of the people watching this probably do you would probably notice that instead of like YouTube settings and video manager now it just says creator studio when you click your title or your image so I'm just going to go through all the new features, why it's better than before, and where everything is now that everything's changed up. So first of all, I'll just go into all the new features. Instead of hitting Video Manager, you click Creator Studio now. And it takes you to a page with a bunch of different things on it. So up here on the left, you have your Creator Studio with all the normal things like Dashboard, Video Manager, which is where you see all your videos. You can delete them, monetize them, edit them right here, enhancements, all that. So that's pretty normal. You can do your live events and all that. And then you have community, which is where you can see all your comments, likes, spam comments, and all that. You have your channel, so your standing, your features, monetization, annotations, all that. Along with your in video programming, which is where you put the little guy or image at the top right or top left, whatever you want. Then you also have your analytics. Which is all normal stuff. This is what you're used to all down the left side. Nothing nothing too different. But here, I'm just going to click this again. And we're going to go back into Creator Studio. This is what's different than before. You also have Create, which is you can take all sounds, music, sound effects if you want them. But you know. They had that before, but I don't think it was down here. Alright, so up here you have different, different like rectangle squares like set off that you can have on your creator studio which is pretty cool like for quick access and all that so for me right now I have comments at the top because I like to read them and respond to them quickly I also just have my videos here I have tips at the bottom because as you can see I have 37 subscribers and almost a thousand channel views I don't really need tips tips aren't gonna help me any so also I have key stats, so just 545 video views, 8 subscribers, net change, and what's new. So it's just going to tell me all the new news of YouTube. So that's pretty much it. You can add widgets, you can delete widgets, you can rearrange widgets. Everything that you would normally do. So if say you wanted to add videos to the top, you just click that, drag it around anywhere you want. Now I have two videos though because I already had videos. So I'm just gonna here I'll say click the gear and hit rename video filter so if you only want to see like your private videos and then we can just remove it since I already have one. Keep tips at the bottom, put videos like right up here and put what's new down here like it was before. That's why I, that's why I've been liking. How do I get it over here? Come on. There you go. Alright. So that's how it was before. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I like it like that. So that's pretty much the main creator studio now. There's a couple more big changes I'll go over in a little bit after I just show you these things. It just says YouTube partner up here, which didn't say that before. And you can also view your channel right here. This is a lot different. A lot of people couldn't find their channel, and this is how you do it. You just go to creator studio and then click view channel. And this is what people who just click your channel will see. So we have my banner, my profile picture, become a sublimer. This is my trailer for my thing, just gaming, PC unboxing. So you can see what I'm working with when I make my videos. Then we just have my uploads and like videos. So, say this is subscriber view. So, say you're already subscribed, you just see all my videos. Well, say you're unsubscribed, this is the trailer you're going to see. You can also edit that with a little pencil right here, change trailer or remove it. And then you can just only show to people. Uh, that's just telling you what unsubscribe trailer means. So we also have the channel tips, feature channels, and all that good stuff, which we used to have. So now, instead of saying YouTube settings, there's just a gear. So if you click that, you go to all your YouTube settings, your connected accounts, so like Twitch, or not Twitch, all oh, Facebook and Twitter, and then it can share it if you want to. Your privacy, email, playback, and connected TVs, which is pretty much similar, just a little different gear now, instead of just saying the actual thing. I'm just going to run down a couple more things while I'm sitting here. Um, There is a YouTube 
well, library of sound effects now, which I pretty went over pretty quickly. So now, just instead of music, which they used to have, you can get sound effects. So like, like you can do key typing, like things breaking, like screams and all that. There's also fan funding, so it's like donations, but it's for YouTubers. So you can do that now through YouTube. There's a couple other things too, like fan submitted subtitles, which is pretty helpful for lazy people who don't feel like typing in all the subtitles for their videos. Now fans can collaborate and type in your um here I'll drag you to right here. Um, where is it? Fan uh creator credits. Or not creator credits. Fan submit subtitles. So now Instead of you having to type in everything so people in different languages can understand, your fans can do that for you. So now they're getting involved in your channel, helping you out. It's a pretty good idea, I think, to get the community growing and stronger. So you can also do, like, more ways to playlist. That says will soon, though, so most likely not happening currently. So what else is there? Creator credits. You can enable collaborators to name and link their fellow collaborators in a way that viewers might actually click through. So instead of doing annotations with like at the end of the video with links to people who are in the video, it's going to be a more effective way with this new Creator Studio. And one of the biggest things I was most excited for is the app. They now have an app on Android and iPhone I know of. I'm, they probably have it on Windows too, but I'm not 100% positive. It is called YouTube Creator Studio by Google Incorporated. And what it does is allows you to edit your videos, see your monetization, which is awesome. So when you first go in the app, it just gives you a tutorial and says, uh, just video manager, you can update your videos, details, and settings on the go. So now, like, say you're running late, you can't do your whole description and tags, you can do that on your phone app now. You can also get notifications when people comment through the app. So you can get push notifications and all that, which is awesome. It's going to be a lot easier to reply to you guys now. Hold on, let me just go back to this real quick. So besides that, there's also comments. So you can filter and respond in the comments a lot easier just through the app. And analytics. I am super excited for this. Before, you would have to go on your computer, like, you couldn't check anything on your phone. I mean, I guess you went on the YouTube website on your phone, but I never really do that. I use the app, the YouTube app, which doesn't have analytics or any of that. Now, you can check your analytics, so, like, your video views, minutes watched, subscribers, your earnings, and all that good stuff, right from the app. It looks crisp and clean, and it's awesome. All I have to do is just type in your channel and sign in, and once you're signed in, you see your analytics, it's, your, it's a dashboard, you get push notifications, all that good stuff, recent uploads and comments, so that is going to, I think, help people a lot with getting back to the community and answering questions. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope I didn't miss anything big, if I did, make sure to comment and let everyone else know, so, if you stayed till this part, I thank you, hopefully you've learned something from this video that you didn't know how to do before and I'll see you next time